From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. We are tracking the tropics. We do have hurricane warnings in effect for the Lesser Antilles, all because of Hurricane Barrel, a very powerful hurricane that's going to continue to move generally towards the west and northwest, maybe gain some strength and eventually possibly impacting the Yucatan Peninsula. We also have been watching Hurricane or I should say tropical storm Chris that will continue to weaken and we're also paying attention to this area. It's going to continue to move basically along the same path as Hurricane Barrel has moved. Here's the spaghetti models for Invest 96L as is expected to continue to move basically on that same path as Hurricane Barrel has been traveling. So, so far we've had Alberto, Barrel and Tropical Storm Chris. The next name will be Debbie if we or when we get our next name storm. Hurricane season officially continues until November 30th. Very long season and it does look like it's going to be a very busy season. Pretty busy out there right now. Independence Day is this week, so three days away. As of right now, it looks like temperatures topping off in the mid to upper 90s. It will be hotter compared to the last or the next couple of days. The record though is 102, the coolest 79. The rainiest four inches back in 1991. Average high is 93 degrees for Independence Day. Isolated rain today, maybe a thunderstorm in the southern half of the Midlands. Cooler than Sunday, but it will be heating up as we go through the rest of the work week. We did manage to make it up to 101 yesterday. That was before all that rain moved in. An inch and 34 hundredths of rain at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Can't rule out a little bit of rain later this afternoon. This is 2:30, basically along and south of I-20. The rain chances will be higher in the southern part of South Carolina, especially in the low country of South Carolina. Looking ahead towards tomorrow morning, a little bit of fog is going to be possible. Partly cloudy skies as we go into the afternoon hours. Humidity levels will be lower. There is that chance for some excessive rainfall in the southern and eastern half of the Palmetto State. So we'll have to kind of watch that for at least that chance for some heavy downpours and maybe even some flooding issues. You notice hit here, that's where the highest chances for rain will be over the next few days for the rest of the Midlands and South Carolina, a quarter to maybe a tenth of an inch if we're lucky. Heat index values will be climbing though as we go through the rest of the work week. This will be Thursday. This will be your Independence Day. Heat index values may be up to about 104, probably even higher as we go into Friday as those heat index values climb possibly to 108, 109, and then maybe even higher on Saturday. So once again, kind of like last weekend, we did have those excessive heat products out there. We had the heat advisory, so could have that once again this weekend. Mid to upper 80s today, maybe near 90 degrees. Small chance for a pop-up shower or storm in the southern and eastern half of the Midlands. Mid to upper 60s to near 70 degrees tonight. European forecast model shows at least a chance for showers and storms over the next several days. It'll kind of be hit or miss as we go into really talking about Thursday, Friday, Saturday and into Sunday. Our forecast only has a small chance of rain on Friday. Maybe that chance for showers and storms Saturday and Sunday. Here's the beach forecast chance for rain today. Obviously pretty quiet for the rest of the work week into the weekend. Pretty quiet Charleston. Basically your same forecast, although those rain chances a little bit higher with those scattered showers and storms possible for today. Greenville looks to be dry until we get to Friday with only a small chance for an isolated shower or storm. The heat sticks around July 8th through July 14th and it does look like it'll be wetter than normal during that same time frame.